Hi, welcome. I'm Eric Lenask with TMC, and uh, we're here at the CTIA show in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here now with Vice President at Pulse. Uh, his name is Michael Boschbach. Michael, thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you, Eric. Uh, so, uh, as, as we wound, wind down uh, uh, the CTIA show, I've had a chance to talk to a lot of people, uh, seen a lot of interesting things going on, and uh, one of the things that um, uh, there's a, a lot of interest in is just getting signal wireless signal out to rural, rural areas and, and obviously it's something that's been in focus for a little while. Um, tell me a little bit about what uh, you guys are seeing at Pulse in that respect. It, exactly Eric, that's what we've been seeing uh, and over the uh, last two years uh, we decided to find a solution to this problem. We were finding that a lot of our customers were coming to us and saying we're in a rural area, we're a mining company, we're an underground parking lot, uh, we're a city, a town, or uh, it could even be a community of uh, people in mountains or something of this nature and they couldn't find uh, good access for their cellular signals. So we started searching around and we found that uh, there wasn't uh, really a good product to address that market. Uh, we were finding with smaller devices that just didn't work correctly, only supplied uh, access for a few people and uh, basically just didn't work well. So we went searching and we found a company out of Canada uh, who actually specialize in this and we decided to actually build a business model around this and we call it expand cell and we have a product called the RPT 9000. Uh, and so you, you talked about existing products out there providing service for a few people. What does your product do? Well, what our product will do uh, is basically it allows uh, the uh, the ability to pull a signal from up to 90 kilometers away, which is 60 miles, which is quite a distance. Yeah. And in most cases, this is what we found in, in rural towns and, and situations like this, is that they were usually 60 miles or less. So what our, our device does is basically put up two antennas with our device. And one antenna will actually point toward a working cell tower, let's say in another city up to 60 miles away and pull that signal in. Even if you're looking at your cell phone and you've got zero bars on it and there's nothing there, we can typically pull down a, uh, a signal down to minus 110 dB, which is very, very low signal. And in effect, what we can do then is with the other antenna, after we repeat the signal, we send it down into that area. And they essentially have the same service, same signal as though a tower had just been installed in their area. Now the benefit obviously the, for the carriers is they don't have to put up a tower. That's exactly right. The expense of a tower uh, typically can run a quarter million dollars or more, some much higher than that. Uh, with our solution, it's basically about 80% less than that type of a cost. And that's very attractive to, uh, to cellular carriers and organizations who are looking for a solution. And of course, people don't have to have uh, the towers in their backyards. That's exactly right. <laughs> so with one of your repeaters, how many people can be serviced? Uh, with one of our repeaters, uh, we, can, we can actually service uh, several hundred users. And what we mean by services is, is that not only do they get voice, but they get all their full features of data as well. So if, they're, if they need their internet browsing on their cell phones, if they need video, uh, data of any type, anything that they're used to on their normal cell phone, that's going to be repeated as well. So as, as 4G grows and, and, and develops and expands, um, you know, we're theoretically here talking about a potential uh, alternative to uh, wireline broadband for some of those rural and, and unserved areas. Absolutely. Uh, our product will adapt to all the services. It works with 2G, 3G, it'll work with 4G as well. Um, we're going to address all of those as each upcoming technology comes about. We're building new products to, uh, to address it. But currently today we address all of the markets, uh, which include the 850, the 900, the 1800, 1900 MHz, and IDEN, 850, or 800 band, I should say. And uh, the other thing that you Push mentioned, the, the other thing you mentioned was uh, your, uh, your carrier agnostic. So I guess you can uh, uh, repeat signal from multiple carriers at once. That's correct. Uh, unlike other products who are tied to a particular carrier, uh, we are completely transparent in that, f that functionality because we depend on the frequency. So let's say in a rural town, somebody 
uh, needs the service, typically they're going to be, have 850 megahertz. It's a standard in rural areas. Uh, so there may be two or three carriers in these outlying cities. And this uh, client or customer may want to have two or more. So with our product, it's transparent. We will take all three of those carriers and they will all come through as long as those cell towers are within the range of our antenna. It will come through, be transposed onto the other side and fill all of those uh, cell phones at that frequency and also with all those carriers. So with that ability, who is your target customer? Are you looking at the, uh, the enterprise or are you looking at the carriers? Uh, our main focus is the carriers and service providers, uh, but what we found over the, uh, especially over the last year, is that uh, we have a lot of calls from uh, uh, construction companies who are building out in rural areas and they're basically there for a short period of time and then they have to leave. Well, they, their cell phones are vital to their business. Sure. Their typical solution, once again, was to buy these little inexpensive units, which basically provided shoddy service and didn't work all the way up the floors of the buildings and things of this nature, but with our product, it works. Mining companies, oil platforms, uh, uh, even people in uh, exclusive communities who have maybe a hundred homes with very large areas up in mountains or down in valleys uh, are can utilize our products. So it's across the board. Very neat. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been talking here at the CTIA 2010 in Las Vegas with Pulse's Michael Bochbach. Michael, thank you very much for joining us. All right. Thank you, Eric.